Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to English with Shalini. And in this today's video, we are going to discuss Milton's sonnet, sonnet number 19, which is uh, also called When I Considered My Light is Spent. And later on, uh, it is also named On His Blindness by uh, some uh, person like called Bishop. And uh, his name is Bishop Newton or he is also called Thomas Newton. And this was published in 1673. Now, On His Blindness is one of the best known uh, sonnet of John Milton. The poem ha may have been written between early as uh, 1652 and it was first published in 1673. And uh, Milton belonged to very affluent family. He was a brilliant scholar. He was a great uh, student. And um, uh, he, he used to read uh, at uh, late at night. And he became blind at the age of 44. And uh, it, is, uh, it is said that his blindness was caused due to the great strain he put his eyes through um, reading late night. And in those days, uh, uh, he must have been read through candlelights and it, it, uh, it has given uh, his uh, eyes uh, so, many, so much strain. So he became blind at the age of 44 and then his uh, he spent his rest of 22 years of his life in blindness only and af uh, even after his blindness he has uh, created great works like uh, paradise lost and uh, samson agonistes and all those great works now this is also called sonnet 19 also and sonnet 16 also because it is said that uh, uh, milton was having some diary in which he has uh, named this uh, sonnet sonnet 19 but when it was published, it was called Sonnet 16. So, there is a confusion between 16 and 19 and that is solved like that. <clears throat> so, uh, it is uh, uh, this, uh, this sonnet is more popularly known as the On His Blindness. And um, Milton became completely blind in the uh, 1652. And so, he spent 20 years of life without eyes. So, Milton is reflecting upon the events that he come to be uh, in his life. And that in that process, he is also talking about the belief in God. And his belief is that perhaps we are not here to present something to do, but the only, only follow the responsibilities that we uh, have taken upon ourselves and do them with honesty and uh, day of honesty day after day and only then we shall be able to achieve aim of our life so john milton was the greatest uh, english poet and his work paradise lost is considered as the epitome of english literature and uh, so here in today's video we are going to discuss sonnet uh, 19 by john milton when i considered how my life is spent so let's move forward so on his blindness is one of the best known sonnet and uh, it was written in 1652 and published in 1673 now, introduction. The poem On His Blindness is an autobiographical sonnet in which he expresses his feeling as a blind person. The poet thinks in the beginning that he will not be able to serve God as his sight is gone. At the, at this, uh, at the poem develops, uh, he begins to believe that God wants him to keep working. In spite of fact that the, he lost his eyesight. In the end, uh, Milton is assured that uh, he is serving God like the angels or other human beings who just uh, wait for the orders of God. The poem has number of biblical references uh, and uh, that depicts uh, Milton's stern belief in God. Milton was a great religious person and he has uh, referenced uh, biblical story in this uh, uh, sonnet also. The poem is written in Petrarchan rhyme scheme. Now this uh, is a sonnet. A sonnet you know is that sonnet means 14 lines lyrical and musical poem. Now uh, let's begin the line by line explanation. So, when I considered my light is spent, how my light is spent, ere half my days in the dark and wide, and that one talent which is death to hide, lodge with me useless, though my soul more bent. 
now the poem start uh, the poet starts the poem with when thus he introduces his idea in the very beginning according to him he often thinks that half of his life or a sight or intelligence has been spent in uh, serving humanity and uh, but how he has lost his eyesight and uh, so his uh, other half is in dark now and white and that is why it means it's challenging as uh, is the uh, challenging as well because he is blind also and he is he has to fulfill his responsibility also so the other so one talent that is of writing milton knew that he was a talented writer and so he is thinking that that one talent of writing which he had is now useless because he he has lost his eyesight and he cannot write because of uh, loss of eyesight thus it is just a load just a burden from god that has been bestowed on him that he has to complete his task the poem laments over the loss of his eyesight and wonders uh, the wonders his talent means for him uh, now eyesight without eyesight he cannot use it so he is uh, complaining in a way to god just uh, although his complaint is mild now stanza 2 to serve here with my maker and present my true account lest he return returning child doth god exact day labor light denied i fondly ask but patience to prevent so in this lines the uh, the lament of poets uh, the uh, turns into desire and wonder now he is desiring he is wondering milton is wondering and he says that he he is he desired to serve his maker he is a great religious person he wanted to serve his almighty but because of his blindness he cannot do so he wanted to serve god through his writing he wonders if god still wants to serve him in spite of the fact that his sight is gone the poet says that uh, this foolish thought often haunts him often haunts him that uh, now how can uh, now god nothing happens without the will of god so god must be knowing that now i am blind so does it uh, does he expect me the same service which he uh, expected me earlier when i was uh, uh, having my eyesight now stanza 3 that murmur soon replies god doth not need either man's work or his own gift who best bear is mild yoke they serve him best his state is kingly thousand at his bidding speed now in this lines the poet milton says that when such foolish thought foolish thought of complain comes into his mind the um, patience at once comes to reply here he has uh, personified patience and uh, that patience of milton comes to reply and uh, that the work of man does not please god it is not my work to please god but the who best bear in his mild yoke that is the one who remains patient and content and satisfied with what he has is most liked by him so god like patient person god has a huge kingdom and there are thousands of angels and human beings who remain in motion to carry god's command and his orders they never take rest they are running and they are running at thousands are running in this bidding speed and the uh, poet compares them with those who have the talent and use it to serve god so they are all are a talented person they are uh, at their toes to serve god now in this last two lines uh, and the post are land and the ocean without rest so they also serve who only stand and wait so now here on the other hand there are some other angels and some other human beings like milton himself also who who serves him just by the standing and waiting before god 
According to him, their service is equally valuable and equally important to God as that of the first category of angels and human beings who are just running and uh, uh, running at bidding speed to serve God. The poet compares himself with the latter angels and latter human beings who just keep patience and thus in the end the poet is quite satisfied and uh, as he is also serving God just by keeping patience. So this was the poem and uh, here uh, Milton is saying that it is a God's will whatever uh, we think we are doing even in the even the responsibility that we fall, we are consciously putting forth in the world, completing it, we are doing our responsibility, doing our task, uh, whatever we are doing we are somehow dictated by our God, our Almighty. And uh, so he says that the whether it is a people who are rush, uh, rushing to do their deeds and not stopping to do them, they are doing it and it is bidding is uh, he is instigating them and he is putting energy that thought their aim is in the mind that they are doing it and those who are simply standing and waiting that is particular that particular opportunity the way of uh, dealing with the that individual so perhaps should not be asking this question that miss milton is thinking that he should not be asking his question that my god will guide me and i shall uh, I should simply continue to do my responsibility, uh, I think, uh, in what is proper. Now, Milton here uh, is in terms, coming in terms with his blindness, his loss of eyesight. And he begins to feel that he is not disabled, but he is now differently abled person. And God will, in, uh, in terms of the loss of eyesight, needs to be accepted. And it is God's who will guide Milton onwards in the journey of life. So, that is that poem. Uh, thank you so much for listening.